to Deep Talk on KCMO Talk Radio 710. I'm your host, Vasavi Kumar, and we are opening up the heart of America. I hope all of you are doing beautiful today. It is so nice outside. It has like a little touch of humidity to it, but it's still bright outside. The sun is bright. There's a little bit of wind. and I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Last week, we spoke to Andy Dooley. We talked about the three steps to activating your positive vibrations. Now, thinking positive is a definite first step. But until you allow yourself to feel good about your current situation, you won't ever be able to appreciate or attract future situations that make you feel good. And this has a lot to do with the upper limit problem that I spoke about last week, the point at which we stop allowing ourselves to feel good let love and wealth and happiness into our lives. See, the upper limit problem is common even amongst the most successful people. See, being successful doesn't necessarily mean that you're happy. I mean, how many people do you know that seemingly have it all? But when you're in their presence, it's just not happy. I mean, the question is really how much are you willing to receive? At what point do you stop and say, whoa, I can't be with all the goodness that is coming my way because it feels so uncomfortable. If you want to take a look at what you're not allowing into your life, transforming the relationship that you have with intimacy, love, wealth, and happiness, then give me a call at 913-951-1764. You can also visit my website at www.vasavikumar.com, and we'll set up your 30-minute coaching session today. So today we're going to be talking about a sensitive topic. We're going to be talking about transforming your conversation about money. And much of what we're talking about today, you can read about in the book that I mentioned last week, The Soul of Money by Lynn Twist. So in her book, she talks about the three toxic myths of scarcity. There's not enough. More is better. And that's just the way it is. My friend and my guest, Levi Clock, is the founder of Clockwork Financial, a firm dedicated to supporting business owners who are ready to take their business to the next level by learning how to build their own private banking system. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal how he works with his clients and really pay themselves the exorbitant amount of interest that they would otherwise pay traditional banks and financiers. So if you want to check him out, visit his website at www.clockworkfinancial or give him a call for your free consultation. It's 913-317-LEVI or it's 913-317-5384. Our conversation with money when coming from scarcity is an expression of fear. It's a fear that drives us to chase after more or leaves us feeling uncomfortable around money or never feeling like there's never enough. And it's not just about money. This happens with love. This happens with our relationship with food. This happens with our relationship with happiness. Today, we just happen to be talking about money. So what's your story about money? Do you fear money? Do you hate it? Do you feel guilty about it? If so, you almost certainly won't have enough of it if that's the conversation. Because money is an energy, and it flows where it is appreciated and taken care of. So have you ever found yourself saying or thinking, I don't want to think about money. I wish it would just go away and leave me. And have you noticed that if you say it often enough, it does. So we all have a money story, but most people don't like to think about it in the present And we avoid thinking about it in the future. You know, our partner's money story may or may not be in harmony with ours, which is why so many couples fight about money. And by the time we're adults, it can feel like the amount of money in our life is pretty much fixed. Like, oh, this is just the way it's always going to be. Very few people have as much money as they think we would like, but we all have as much money as we believe we deserve. 
although this is very seldom conscious. So what's your money personality? Are you careful? Are you a spendthrift? Does money burn a hole in your pocket? How do you think of yourself in relation to money? Are you comfortable? Are you on a limited income? Or are you just getting by? Are you happy with what you have? Do you need more? If you recognize yourself in any of these descriptions, I would love to help you change your perception about money and support you to have more of it. So give me a call at 913-951-1764. We can set up your 30-minute coaching session today or visit my website at www.vasavi, V-A-S-A-V-I, Kumar, K-U-M as in Mary, A-R, dot com. Because I really want to know, do you feel confident about your ability to create or attract more money into your life? Really, how much money do you want? Is it enough to meet the bills? Is it enough to pay off your debt? Is it enough to play a little and take a holiday now and then? What about enough to be generous and give away to other people, support a charity, or establish a foundation? How do you feel about the idea that perhaps becoming wealthy could be part of your sole purpose? See, money gives us choices. And it also creates responsibilities. If you have strong emotions like fear, guilt, and greed around money, you know, I, I would imagine that it would make you feel uneasy. Even spiritual people, especially spiritual people, because many people think you can't be rich and spiritual at the same time. And that's a load of you know what, by the way. But it <laughs> sticks around just the same. <laughs> and for many people, money is an enemy. And at worst, and it's an enemy at worst, and at best, it's an uncomfortable partner whom we'd prefer to ignore. So if any of this resonates with you, give me a call at 913-951-1764 or visit my website at www.vasavikumar.com. When we come back, we are going to talk to my wonderful guest, Levi Clock, about transforming your conversation with money. We're going to go to a break. You're listening to Deep Talk on KCMO Talk Radio 710. KCMO Talk Radio 710 with Laura Ingram. 97 Democrats don't think there's a debt problem in the United States, or we can call them just debt deniers. She's outspoken. Very masculine sounding, don't you think? My voice is lower than his. Opinionated. This is all anecdotal for me. And not afraid to tell the truth. So he was all thrilled about meeting Obama, though that's a shock. Laura Ingram. Weekdays from 9 to 11 on KCMO Talk Radio 710. Vasavi Kumar knows one thing for sure. She is no expert. Instead, she embodies and radiates acceptance, vulnerability, hope, and love. Drawing from a lifetime of awareness and the primal understanding that at our very core, we crave connection and truth. Vasavi knows that by sharing her authentic self, she creates a safe place for others to not only discover, but speak their own truth. Knowing that the relationships we seek begin first within, Vasavi delivers presentations that not only uplift and inspire, but encourage each attendee to dig deep, cast away doubt, and claim the truly radiant self they've too often buried under layers of expectations, disappointments, and self-criticism. To learn more about how Vasavi can support you in getting you out of your own way, visit her at VasaviKumar.com or give her a call at 913-951-1764 today. VasaviKumar.com, 913-951-1764. Hey folks, Dave Ramsey here. Mr. Remodeler is one of Kansas City's oldest and most trusted remodeling and repair companies. So when it comes to remodeling that bathroom, there's no better choice than Mr. Remodeler. They serve a variety of clientele and understand that everyone has different needs and expectations. This includes a wide range of product options, styles, and colors. The Mr. Remodeler team also understands the importance of having a plan for your money and will take the time to find the most economical way to get you the bathroom you want. This could mean their experienced craftsman does the more difficult tasks and you do the paint and wallpaper. Another option would be to maintain the same layout and merely swap the old bathroom fixtures for new and updated ones. So, to discover even more possibilities, call Mr. Remodeler today. In Missouri, call 453-3049. In Kansas, 362-7166 or online at MrRemodeler.com. 
About a year ago, I was at the gym and I started noticing uh, some knee pain in my right knee. Hurt for a couple days. I heard a commercial for Ideal Feet on the radio and uh, I, I went in and gave them a shot. I went into the Plano store and talked to one of the salespeople and um, you know they sat me down, asked me what I was suffering from, found out that I pronate. My ankles roll in when I walk. Did the foot impression, showed me where my pressure points were, showing that my heel took a lot of the pressure which was causing my knee pain. They came out with a carbon footprint copy maker. I did it, pointed out the little pressure points in both my feet and then went back and found the appropriate sole insert and since then I haven't really felt any pain. I tried, you know, those just cheap little flat ones that you put in the bottom of your shoes, but um, never anything like Ideal Feet. If anything goes wrong, I, I know I can take them back in the store and get refitted for no extra charge. Ideal Feet's been a, been a miracle for me, and I'd recommend it to about anyone. In Overland Park, Rosanna Square at the northwest corner of 119th and Metcalf between Hobby Lobby and Mill Brothers Sporting Goods or IdealFeet.com. Check out Kansas City's newest radio station, Funny 1025, the only station for all comedy all the time. Powered by Missouri Gas Energy and Planet Sub. Whether you're laughing with us or laughing at us, we'll have you laughing. Funny 1025. Save money. Call Macintosh Heating and Cooling, serving all of KC. Let Macintosh Heating and Cooling save you money on a new high-efficiency, complete system from American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning with up to a $1,600 instant rebate. Let Macintosh Heating and Cooling help find the right system for you. 816-737-9500. Who are you? What makes you tick? What makes your heart race? I want to know. You see, my purpose is to support you on your journey. My name is Vasavi Kumar. And I specialize in transformational coaching and speaking. Let's set up your 60-minute coaching session today. Call me at 913-951-1764. That's 913-951-1764. Dave Ramsey. Look at their finances. How's it going? How's it working for them? It's not. Tune in to Dave Ramsey. Weekdays from 11 till 2 on KCMO Talk Radio 710. We are back, and you are listening to Deep Talk with Vasavi on KCMO Talk Radio 710. And we're talking about transforming your conversation with money today. I'm here with my guest, Levi Clock of Clockwork Financial, and I'm excited. I'm excited that Levi's here because I love the work that he does with his clients. He doesn't just invest their money, really. He essentially coaches people and challenges their belief systems about their conversation with money. So he actually gets to the root of what's driving how their money looks. So thank you so much, Levi, for being here. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, Mm -hmm. so, and I I really do appreciate it because I know it's Sunday and those are the days that you, I mean, you usually spend Sundays with your family. So I really do appreciate you being here. Happy to be here. Thank you, Vasavi. So, you know, today we're talking about transforming your conversation with money. We're mm-hmm. talking about, you know, even more specifically, the three myths of scarcity. Mm. The first one being, you know, there's not enough. The second one being more is better. Mm-hmm. And the third being that's just the way it is. And we're going to get to that later. But I read your bio and I was blown away by what you went through before you got to this point. And listeners, you got to see Levi. He's really sharp. I mean, I'm dressed down in workout clothes because I'm going to the dog park after this. (laughs) But Levi is sharp. I mean, and he's very professional always. And I need to know, you know, just before you got to this point, you know, having your own business and creating quite a name for yourself in the community, can you share with our listeners about your former life, so to say? Really, how did you get to this point? Sure, absolutely. First, can I say I, I want to let your listeners know what a phenomenal job that you do. I know personally because Vasavi is my wife's life coach, and uh, I have permission to uh, uh, brag on Vasavi's work from my wife. Uh, but I can tell you know from personal experience that my wife is a changed woman from from working with you, and you've you've helped her work through some issues that she's had in her life that she have that she felt were. Uh, holding her down or keeping her back, and uh, she's much happier. We're much happier. Um, you've challenged me through her to work on <laughs> issues in my life as well, and to you know take more accountability for for uh, my stuff as well. And I just really appreciate the work that you do, and it's it's made a big impact in our our family. So thank you. Thank you so much, Levi. Yeah. So can you can you share with our listeners really how did you get here? 
Well, how did I get here? Well, I grew up in a, a humble middle class home over in Lawrence, Kansas, and um, you know, it always intrigued me why there were certain classes of people. You know, why why is there poor people? Uh, why is there w- wealthy people? And why is there people like me who are middle class? And uh, that that always intrigued me. You know, my parents did a wonderful job of uh, teaching me morals and ethics and principles and in life and. Uh, I greatly honor and respect them for giving me those gifts. Um, But, you know, just talking about money and our conversation with money, I I believe that we're all born into a belief system about money. And if we stay there, which is one of your your points from the the book, The Soul of Money, uh, you know, if we say that we're stuck there, then that doesn't allow us to grow uh, and and find out what we're capable of becoming in this life or, or doing in this world. Uh, so, you know, I, I was born into a belief system about money, and it, it wasn't really working for me because, you know, at times I wore my older sister's clothes because we didn't have, you know, enough clothes for me to wear or something like that so, just to save money, you know. So what was the belief system? Well, uh, some different belief systems, uh, you know, that maybe one of the belief systems was, uh, that we don't understand how to invest money, or we, you know, we we don't make a lot of money, so we we can't have nice things, or we we can't take advantage of uh, business opportunities or different things that maybe the the wealthy would take advantage of. Um, so I I you know sought out a, after a, a journey of trying to figure out what the wealthy are doing with their money and trying to be a student of of successful people in that area of of money, and I was chasing after money and it. And I was chasing after success. And it seemed like the further I chased and the more I chased after that money, that the further it it was from me. It was like a dangling carrot out in front of me. You know, it's like I'm always chasing it. And I got more and more in debt and more and more depressed. And and literally just about everything that I tried with that type of a a focus failed. And I, I hit a rock bottom. I was working in Seattle, Washington. I was working for a company that was actually one of the fastest growing privately held companies in the world at the time. Um so I invested a lot of money. My parents worked very diligently to save money for me for college and for my future when I was a kid. And, you know, I believed so much that this was, you know, the success for me. So I asked my parents, you know, can can I have that college fund to invest in, in this business? And so, uh, you know, after a year and a half, I was $50,000 in debt. The company that I was working for got shut down, so I'm jobless. Uh, I didn't go into straight into college, so I didn't have any, you know, traditional formal education to fall back on. So, you know, I, I couldn't afford to pay my rent. So here I am uh, in my early 20s, jobless, homeless, 50 grand in debt. Creditors are calling me and my and my parents because they loan me some money from their credit cards, you know, calling me saying, you know, you're three months delinquent on your payment. And, you know, where's the money? And, and I was depressed. I felt like such a failure. And. So I had to pack up my little Nissan 240SX mm-hmm. and drive back from Seattle to Lawrence and say, Mom, Dad, can I come back home because, you know, I failed. So would you say the, the jobless, the homeless, uh, $50,000 in debt, that was your low point? Yes. So I, first of all, Levi, I just want to acknowledge you for sharing that on air. And, you know, everyone, you guys know you're listening to Deep Talk on KCMO, Talk Radio 710. I mean, it takes a lot of guts and vulnerability to share that with people. And in the three... Toxic Myths of Scarcity, as said by Lynn Twist in her book, she says that this, I mean, in in the book, it really does get to the root of our struggle with money. Mm. And the first one being there is not enough, right? Just that mindset of there's not enough. So, Levi, tell me, when you literally had nothing in terms mm. of home, house, car, and I, I think you said degree also? Yeah. And, and yeah, so education and and money. Did you ever think to yourself, I don't have enough? Uh, yes, quite frequently, <laughs> because okay. I didn't have my, you know, it's like everything had to be stripped from me to realize that uh, really, for me, it was my heart was in the wrong place. And, and you know, rightfully so, you didn't have your basic needs. You, mm-hmm. you didn't, I mean, you didn't have, have, a, have a place to live. Mm-hmm. So how did you break through, and if you don't mind me saying this, that limited type of thinking? Because, mm-hmm. you know, you, you get that. That comes from scarcity. It mm-hmm. can't ever get you that far when you're thinking, I don't have enough and you've obviously broken through that but how did you break through that limiting type of thinking yeah well that's a great question um for me it was really a spiritual journey uh you know i, I was raised with a 
uh, a foundation of uh, you know seeking the Almighty and and worshiping Him. And I, I was saying I was doing that, but I wasn't doing that with my heart, um, you know. And and I was actually in my parents' basement in this low point, you know. I was partying and drinking my uh, my sorrows away, and you know, <laughs> figuring out how come everything I touch, uh, f- you know, fails. And it was in that that uh, that dark depressed low point in my life where I actually heard the audible voice of the creator of the universe, I believe. What did he say to you? And he said, how can I bless you when you're running from me? And I was scared because I'd never heard this powerful audible voice and I thought somebody was in the room. I thought maybe my dad was there and I turned around and I'm there by myself and just feeling sorry for myself. And he says again, how can I bless you when you're running from me? And that's all he said. And that's all I needed, and it was simple, but it was very profound for me because I knew that I was running from my my creator, from, from the uh, creator of the universe. And uh, so it, it was at that point that I actually uh, changed my heart posture towards him and began to uh, use money and love people instead of use people and love money like, like I had before. And I, when you say you change your heart posture, what mm-hmm. does that mean? Uh, that my purpose in this life isn't to see how successful Levi Clock can be. You know, my purpose isn't to uh, to uh, make a bunch of money and say, you know, I I was raised middle class. Look at me, I'm I'm wealthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it, it, if that continues to uh, be my path, then I'll accept it and I'll do my best to be faithful with with what I've been given. Uh, but what I say, change my heart posture, that means doing things for other people instead of myself. I was very selfish. Mm. You know, I've heard you say many times in your writings and your coaching and different things that, uh, you know, the belief systems that we had worked at one time, but maybe later on in life they don't work anymore. Well, when we're a baby and we're dependent on everything, we have to be selfish because that's what we need. Uh, but, you know, as a young adult, I was continuing on being selfish and that wasn't working. Uh, so... Yeah. So often, you know, we look at our bank accounts, our education, our debt, and we think to ourselves, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Or we don't have enough. And in the book, she talks about how enough is a state of mind. Okay, I'm going to say that again. She thinks about how the concept of enough is a state of mind, that this mindset is really what drives us to chase after more, that if we had more, we would be happier. So in your opinion, why do you think people get stuck in this conversation of if I had more, I'd be happier. And what would you define as enough? Well, those are tough questions. Um, I mean, I, th- I think I believe money is relative. You know that you've been to India, and, and I've heard you say that you know half the the people over there live very poor and even on the streets. Yeah. Uh, and yet, some of them are very happy. You know, I got to mm-hmm. tell you, I, I I get off the uh, the plane and we, we get out in you know whichever city we happen to be in. I mean, it is swamped with people. I mean, we have over a billion people. And you could see like a, like, literally like a five-year-old girl carrying her six-month-old brother begging for money or food with a smile on her face. And I said, mm-hmm. I mean, I haven't, been to, uh, I haven't been to many poor countries just because I'm, I'm Indian and I go to India. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it's such a dichotomy for me. It's like, how can you have nothing, right? In, in my American worldview mind, I'm like, you have nothing, yet you're so happy. Mm-hmm. But if you'd ask that little girl... She would tell you that she had everything. Mm-hmm. She she has her she has her eyesight. She has her hearing. She has her ability to smell. She has her parents. She has her two legs. She mm-hmm. I mean for her she's fully equipped. Mm-hmm. So it's just really interesting what we define in our society as, you know, enough or or how the material things really define us and our and our relationship to being happy. Mm-hmm. So for you you were saying what you defined as enough mm-hmm. is what what is that for you? Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to go to a break. Okay. Uh, you're listening to Deep Talk on KCMO Talk Radio 710. I'm here with my guest, Levi, and we'll be back shortly. Today on 
the KCMO Morning Show with Greg Knapp. I'm bringing in Melissa Kuhn. This is the story we've been talking about quite a bit. I asked him what all he told the police. He had just said that this is what happened. That's what he told me in tears at the hospital. Whenever he was upset and everything that was going on, I mean, he just got lit on fire. He had never had anything like that happen in his life. He told me himself, Mom, I had never had anything so like that ever in my life. Don't miss out. Listen to the KCMO Morning Show with Greg Knapp. Weekday mornings from 5 till 9 on KCMO Talk Radio. Fox News Radio, I'm Liz White. Voters going to the polls in the Puerto Rico primary with 20 delegates in play. Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens, but they can't vote for president. So a primary in which they can give a candidate a fair amount of delegates towards nomination may be the only way they can get a candidate to pay attention to their issues. Fox News Radio's Evan Brown. All four Republican candidates have seen delegate counts grow today with Georgia finalizing results from its primary on March 6th. Mitt Romney leads with 501. George Clooney raising more awareness about the conflict in Sudan, warning of widespread famine as Sudanese soldiers force civilians away from their farms, sharing what he saw in South Sudan. You can see, first of all, the the, the remnants of, uh, of a fairly active war. There were dead bodies laying around. Clooney was among those arrested outside the Sudanese embassy in D.C. last week. Fox News, we report, you decide. Clouds will be on the increase today, very windy and warm with a high of 79. We have a 20% chance for an isolated thunderstorm today as well. We'll stay windy and warm throughout the night tonight before rain moves in on Monday. In fact, a flood watch has been posted from Monday through Wednesday with 2 to 5 inches of rain possible. I'm KCTV 5 meteorologist Tom Walks. Vasavi Kumar knows one thing for sure. She is no expert. Instead, she embodies and radiates acceptance, vulnerability, hope, and love. Drawing from a lifetime of awareness and the primal understanding that at our very core, we crave connection and truth. Vasavi knows that by sharing her authentic self, she creates a safe place for others to not only discover, but speak their own truth. Knowing that the relationships we seek begin first within Vasavi delivers presentations that not only uplift and inspire, but encourage each attendee to dig deep, cast away doubt, and claim the truly radiant self they've too often buried under layers of expectations, disappointments, and self-criticism. To learn more about how Vasavi can support you in getting you out of your own way, visit her at vasavikumar.com or give her a call at 913-951-1764 today. vasavikumar.com 913-951-1764. 913-951-1764. 710. Caring for KC. Did you know there are homeless children here in Kansas City? Hungry children. Not just from lack of food, but for a place they can call home. Community Link helps families break the cycle of poverty and homelessness. Join them. Be part of the solution. For more information on this and other community efforts, visit the KCMO Talk Radio 710 Community Affairs website at caringforkc.com. KCMO Talk Radio 710. If you have gout, listen closely. That's the sound of gout silently attacking joints between flares. You won't hear it, and you may not feel it, but if your uric acid level remains high, crystals can continue to build up in your joints. Over time, this may lead to attacks in other joints, constant pain, and joint destruction. So don't wait. For more information, go to goutinfo.com and talk with your doctor about ways to keep your uric acid at a lower, healthy level. New Glidden Duo Pain is only at the Home Depot and starts at just $24.97 a gallon. Glidden Duo is paint plus primer, so one coat does double duty. It covers completely in less time and looks as good in your budget as it does on your walls. A brand new room where the old one used to be begins with new Glidden Duo Paint Plus Primer, starting at just $24.97. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. U.S. only. See store for details. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710, or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. 
You fix your patients, aches and pains, and they fix yours. KCMO Talk Radio 710. Cutting through liberal bias with a Fox News laser. Kansas City station for Fox News Radio. KCMO Talk Radio 710. Welcome back. You are listening to Deep Talk on KCMO Talk Radio 710. I'm Basavi, and I'm here with my guest, Levi Clock of Clockwork Financial. We're just getting started here, guys. So if you want to break through your money conversation, then give me a call at 913-951-1764. If you want to work with Levi and set up your free consultation, call him at 913-317-LEVI, or that's 5384, 913-317-LEVI. 5384, or check out his website at clockworkfinancial.com. So we, we just finished talking about um, not enough, the the three the first of the three myths of scarcity, which is not enough. Mm-hmm. And Levi, where we left off before the break was really, what would you define as enough? Well, I, I believe that if people aren't happy with the minimal amount that they may feel like they have at this point, then they're not going to be happy with millions of dollars in the bank. Uh, I know from my personal experience that when I was, you know, at that low point and, uh, you know, $50,000 in debt with no job and living in my parents' basement and trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life, uh, there was a ter- there was a, a spiritual awakening for me. There was a, a turning point for me, and I began to make the decision to be happy with what I do have, which was, was nothing, uh, not much, you know. And I don't want to overlook that I had my health, I had my family and relationships and a lot of very you know precious things to me. Um, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but monetarily, I didn't have anything. And uh, so I think it's you know one of the secrets to being successful in life is learning to be content with plenty and being content with lack. Mm-hmm. Uh, and knowing that you know all success, all money, all relationships tend to ebb and flow. And Levi, I, 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 I want to stop here for a second. That was great to be content with plenty or to be content with lack. And it's interesting because, well, really what I hear you saying is just to be grateful for whatever it is. And so even Mm -hmm. lack is a mindset of scarcity and even plenty is kind of like the other uh, more is better. But Mm -hmm. what you're really saying is whatever it may look like, you know, you may have a million dollars in the bank or you may have five dollars. Regardless, just be grateful for what you have now. Right. And that's I mean, that sounds like that's kind of the the what am I trying to say here? The the conversation that you were having with yourself yeah. to really just be grateful for what you had. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, really, it, it kind of boils down to can we really appreciate an abundance of money if we never, ever went through a season when we had lack? Mm. You know, so, you know, if we learn to be content no matter where we are, where we are in that journey, then uh, we'll actually appreciate it more when we, you know, came, came from a place of not having an abundance. So. Uh, you know, and, and I, I believe that we are to be good stewards and, and managers of, of the resources that we've been entrusted with, uh, you know, and not just if we have an abundance, not just being frivolous and throwing it around every corner and and being irresponsible with it. But, uh, you know, part part of what what solves part of the problem of not enough is creating a budget. Mm. And that that word scares a lot of people. Uh, that word uh, invokes a, a fear of restriction to a lot of people. You know, I, I love that you're talking about budget because that really leads into the second myth of scarcity, which mm-hmm. is more is better. Mm-hmm. Right. So if I had a bigger car, if I had more education, if I had more money, more vacations, more, more, more. Right. Let's just right. really it, more. Everything's external, by the mm-hmm. way. It's outside of you. Right. Like, if I had this, then I'd be happier, more fulfilled, more satisfied. So how many of you listeners can relate to this conversation? You know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Just notice it. And Levi, what have you learned in your work, work with your clients who are constantly chasing after the next big thing or, or more mm-hmm. to fulfill their needs? Yeah. What have you learned? Well, we work with, with entrepreneurs, business owners, you know, and kind of that entrepreneurial spirit is to, you know, conquer everything and, and take every big idea and, and uh, roll with it. But I, I believe we have to be selective about what we invest our time and money in so that we make sure that what we do does succeed and there's you know a lot of healthy pride that comes with uh, succeeding and doing a, doing a good job. Uh, so you know, learning to say no to eighty percent of the opportunities that come acro- across our plate is is a good skill to learn as well. Uh, you know, more opportunities and and more money doesn't make us happier, uh, but you know it it does make things easier if we do have more money. 
I love this conversation, and I, I, I really love your unique way of speaking of money and dealing with your clients. And guys, if you're listening to this and if you're interested in how Levi can help you and challenge your belief systems about money and really look at what's working and not working from a holistic perspective, give them a call for your free consultation, 913-317-5384, or visit them at clockworkfinancial.com. So, you know, the chase never ends, right? There's always more to be had. But Mm -hmm. unless you can stop and be grateful for what you have and to see that what you do have now is enough, the chasing will never end and you'll never be happy. So how do you, um, one of the things that you said is you talked about budgeting. So is that one of the ways that you work with your clients to live within their means? Yeah, like you said, we work with the the whole um, entrepreneur. We help them in in all areas that they want to grow in and finances just seems to uh, be a big issue in this economy, you know, where a lot of businesses are going out of business or laying people off and a lot of people that are in this, you know, panic or fear mode, and they don't have to be. You know, a lot of uh, very successful businesses start in these types of times. You know, Microsoft is is one example of a company that started in a recession. Mm. Um, and my my personal businesses have uh, doubled in, in revenues the last three years in a row. So, you know, just because some people are going through tough times doesn't mean that you have to accept that has to happen to you. There's there's a, an abundance of opportunities. The key is just, you know, looking at your belief system about money um, and getting the, the right team to support you. And that's what Clockwork Financial does is we, we really are a turnkey financial team to help people uh, look at, you know, their, their belief system and their habits. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, if I could boil it down to a real simplistic um, – overview on why I believe that there's the wealthy, the middle class, and the poor is it boils down to belief systems and habits. You know, if you start, uh, if you're unhealthy or out of out of shape, find somebody that's in shape and that does eat healthy and just do what they do and you'll get what they got. Right. Uh, so same thing about money. You know, money is, is not an art, it's a science. You know, if you do certain things, you're going to get certain results. Money is green paper. It's, it's a green piece of paper. It's a green piece yeah. of paper. So, I mean, you know, we live in a society where more is better. You know, we truly live in an abundant society. Yet, in my experience, I feel like no one's really happy with the right now, with what they have, and constantly being driven for the next big thing. So, you know, listeners, consider that what you have now is enough. If you aren't happy and grateful for the right now, trust me. And I'm saying trust me because I've been through this myself. I've, you know, I have been very blessed with having a lot and not being happy with what I have. And I do get it that all that matters is what we have right now. Mm -hmm. So no amount of money, no fancy job or vacation will bring you happiness, Mm -hmm. period. It's momentary. So the third toxic myth of scarcity is that's just the way it is. I I really think that this by far is probably the saddest conversation. It's when you take inventory of your current situation and completely resign to the fact that nothing will ever change. That, you know, it means that you want you're not going to take action and you'll just let things simply be as they are. And not because you want them to stay as they are, but because you truly believe that that's just the way it is and it's not going to get any better. So, Levi, did you ever in your career hit a point where you weren't exactly happy with your situation and felt like nothing would make a difference? Oh, sure. I think all business owners go through that ebb and flow of of business, you know, at times when uh, you ask yourself, can things go any better? And then at other times, can things be any worse? Uh, And I think, you know, one of the keys is not to be controlled by your emotions. And, you know, successful people surround themselves with experts. And I think, you know, if we're finding what we do in this world that we're passionate about, what we love doing, and we have fun doing it, and we surround ourselves with a team that that can help support us in that in that purpose. Uh, a team of of experts in their field, you know, us being one in the in the financial arena, uh, then w- we can help ensure that success. Uh, but yeah, I, I do see a lot of people that ha- that are stuck with that uh, mentality of that's just the way it is. And if if we're going to camp out there, if we're going to make that our home, then we we are going to be stuck. You know. Uh, but if if we can change that belief and say, well, that you know that's the way it is right now, but that's not the way it's going to stay, uh, and then seeking help and then following a game plan to get out of that situation. Uh, so you know, again, I think just the, the belief system that we have can either uh, keep us stuck or propel us into to great success. And you know, I, I enjoy being an asset to my clients uh, to where they look at me as as their coach, you know, their financial coach, where 
where we can help change the way they believe so then their their potential will change and then the actions that they take will change and then their results end up changing as well. This is, I mean, you are sharing so many wonderful golden nuggets with our listeners. And guys, we're going to go to a break. You're listening to Deep Talk on KCMO Talk Radio 710. KCMO Talk Radio 710 with Dave Ramsey. Because your your voice changes and catches in your throat when I start talking about you doing these things that are proper things and that are not mean. I'm not trying to punish your mother. Financial freedom mixed with common sense. You need to be putting 15% of your income away in retirement. Tune in to Dave Ramsey. Weekdays from 11 till 2 on KCMO Talk Radio 710. <laughs> Vasavi Kumar knows one thing for sure. She is no expert. Instead, she embodies and radiates acceptance, vulnerability, hope, and love. Drawing from a lifetime of awareness and the primal understanding that at our very core, we crave connection and truth. Vasavi knows that by sharing her authentic self, she creates a safe place for others to not only discover, but speak their own truth. Knowing that the relationships we seek begin first within Vasavi delivers presentations that not only uplift and inspire, but encourage each attendee to dig deep, cast away doubt, and claim the truly radiant self they've too often buried under layers of expectations, disappointments, and self-criticism. To learn more about how Vasavi can support you in getting you out of your own way, visit her at vasavikumar.com or give her a call at 913-951-1764 today. vasavikumar.com 913-951-1764. 913-951-1764. After 65 million years, they've returned. Dinosaurs at Overland Park Convention Center. Experience over 60 life-size replica dinosaurs, including the menacing T-Rex, the massive life-size Triceratops, the moving T-Rex, Raptor, Stegosaurus, and humongous 7-foot T-Rex head. Touch some of the 60 dinosaurs on display. Learn about fossils and even ride the dinosaurs, featuring a 14-foot T-Rex. This weekend only, discover the dinosaurs at Overland Park Convention Center. Countless activities for kids of all all ages, including the Dino Den, Gem and Fossil Pan, the Dino Den, Dinosaur Inflatables, Mini Golf, Face Painting, and more. They may have lived over 65 million years ago, but they're back for one weekend. So come spend the day with the dinosaurs at Overland Park Convention Center, 6000 College Boulevard. Discover the dinosaurs this Friday, 10 to 9, Saturday, 10 to 8, and Sunday, 10 to 7 at Overland Park Convention Center, 6000 College Boulevard. For more information, visit discoverthedinosaurs.com. Who are you? What makes you tick? What makes your heart race? I want to know. You see, my purpose is to support you on your journey. My name is Vasavi Kumar, and I specialize in transformational coaching and speaking. Let's set up your 60-minute coaching session today. Call me at 913-951-1764. That's 913-951-1764. Use your tax refund to do those auto repairs you've been putting off. At AutoZone, we can help make your refund go a long way. From brakes to engines, AutoZone has the quality parts, low prices, and expert advice to help you get your car back in top working order. So don't put it off any longer. Come to AutoZone today and put your tax refund to work before those small repairs become big ones. Because parts are just part of what we do. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Nutritionists and scientists agree that blueberries are a food with amazing antioxidant properties. But eating blueberries alone won't get you all the health benefits you need. That's why I created Blue Science, a revolutionary line of nutritional supplements that combines the best of blueberries, blueberry extracts, and other special plant extracts. One capsule of Blue Science contains more terastilbene than 500 cartons of blueberries. Terastilbene is a compound found in blueberries that helps your body's cellular activities and supports heart health, anti-aging, weight management, and more. Unlock the power of blueberries with Blue Science. Available at Walgreens and GNC. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when America converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710, or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. Greg now. Coming up Monday on the show, 535, we're bringing in Mitt Romney's wife, Ann Romney. We're going to ask her why her husband seems to have so much trouble connecting with conservatives. 
KCMO Morning Show with Greg Knapp. We're back, and you're listening to Deep Talk on KCMO Talk Radio 710. I'm your host, Vasavi, and I'm sitting here talking to Levi Clock of Clockwork Financial. We've just finished talking about the three toxic myths of scarcity. Not enough. More is better. That's just the way it is. Where do you fit into that? What's your conversation about money? If you want to get unstuck, give me a call at 913-951-1764. Let's really look at your money story, the conversation that's been running your life. You deserve to have money in your life. It doesn't have to be a struggle. And if you want to have your free consultation with Levi Clock, then give him a call at 913-317-5384 or visit his website at clockworkfinancial.com. So the goal is really to break through the mindset of scarcity and simply be okay and grateful with enough. Because when we can come from enough with what we have, we actually get to experience and enjoy what we have rather than chasing for more. Imagine if every single one of us right now were satisfied and happy and grateful and peaceful with what we had right now in this mo moment. I just want you to take that in. Imagine if every single one of us were happy with what we had right now. Imagine what would be possible. And Levi, you know, breaking out of this mindset is not easy. However, in it's it's in 60 days that you're launching your academy. The It's called the IDEA Academy, and it stands for the Infinite Development Entrepreneur Academy. Now, you have five pillars that you believe people often overlook that keeps them stuck in their money. So sorry, stuck in their conversation about money. Mm -hmm. What are those five pillars? Well, yeah, this company, IDEA Incorporated, was birthed out of my 13... 14 years now of working with entrepreneurs and seeing how out of balance that almost everybody is in one area of their life, and, and including myself. I've been out of balance many, many times, and part of what makes us happy, I believe, is balance to what's special and important to us. Uh, so, you know, this, this company was birthed out of my desire to be balanced in my own life and, and surround myself with people who I really admire and respect in these different areas to teach me what, what I can do and, and how I can become more of a person uh, of balance and success. Uh, but these five areas that we're going to focus on is uh, the profession or business that the entrepreneur is working in, um, you know, different strategies to help grow the business. Uh, the second area is relationships, our spiritual relationship, our relationship with our spouse, our relationship with ourself, our relationship with our family and friends and, and business uh, relationships. Now, the third area that can get out of balance is our finances and our legal planning, um, protecting what we're working so hard to build, uh, making sure that we're making the best investments in the right type of uh, banking uh, process that we're doing for our business. Uh, we teach all those things with Clockwork Financial. Uh, the fourth area is our health and wellness. You know, how many business owners do we know that work their, their life away to the bone at the cost of their own health? So then in their later years, they spend all their money to pay for their health. Mm -hmm. So how do we stay healthy and, and fit and, and optimum health? And then lastly, the fifth area is our fun and hobbies. How do we stay rejuvenated and enjoy life and make sure we're carving out uh, a piece of our, our time and finances to address all these five areas? I love this, Levi, because you have such a holistic approach here that it's not just about money. It's a, and you, you had mentioned this in the, you know, in, in the beginning of the show that you were so driven by money. You, you, yeah. you were just driving towards the dollar sign and yeah. you were really missing out on all the other areas of your life. Right. So I really like this concept where you look at the whole person Yeah. Um, and you look at all the areas of your life. I think oftentimes we stay not stuck, but we focus more on the profession and the financial and legal aspect. Mm -hmm. Um, and ignore the spiritual relationship, our relationship with our partner um, or spouse or, you know, our friendships, health and wellness, really taking a look at our body, physical body, you know, emotional mm -hmm. and having fun in our life. Right. I can yeah. speak from personal experience that um, when I first started my business, I I didn't mean to, but I was kind of ignoring my husband because I would work around the clock. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't enjoying anything at that point. Yeah. Right. I'm here. I am making money, but I don't, you know, my, my husband feels neglected, mm -hmm. really. So it, I had to really look at 
what do I want to spend my time on? Right. I mean, how can I really look at my time and where I put my energy and where I want to, you know, focus on so that I can live a more balanced life? So, guys, I mean, his academy, it's launching in two months. Two months. So if you're interested to learn more or to set up your consultation with Levi, give him a call at 913-317-5384 and visit or visit clockworkfinancial.com. Um, Also, give me a call if you are stuck in a money conversation and want to get unstuck and really look at the belief systems that you've been holding on to that has you stuck with your money conversation. You can give me a call at 913-951-1764. I want to thank Levi. I want to thank you, Levi, for taking the time out to be with us today. Um, I, I really do appreciate you coming here, sharing your story talking about what your company does with all of our listeners. And once again, if you want to have your free consultation with his company, give him a call at 913-317-LEVI or 5384 or check him out on www.clockworkfinancial.com. So next week, it is all about releasing your inner genius, releasing your brilliance. We all have that inner champion inside of us, that little voice that says, I'm great. I'm awesome. Let me out. So I want you to, you know, tune in next week to Deep Talk, KCMO Talk Radio 710. My guest, Simon T. Bailey, is amazing. He has a fabulous new book called Release Your Brilliance. This man is awesome to listen to, and his book is just so on point. It's just so on target. You know, in the book, he asked, have you ever wondered why so many people seemingly get all the breaks, have all the good looks, have all the great opportunities and achieve all the success they desire? Like, why them, not me? They live their lives in such a way that people beat a path to their doorstep. How come them and not me? And I love this because Simon says, you weren't born to fit in. You were born to be brilliant. So to all of my listeners out there, it's time to release your genius. So give me a call at 913-951-1764 and set up your 30-minute coaching session today or visit my website at www.vasavikumar.com and sign up today. Let me support you in releasing your brilliance. And If some of you are still thinking about the money conversation, I want to invite you to give Levi a call. He's still sitting here. He hasn't officially left the building with me yet. But I just I I really want to encourage you guys, if you really want to look at your belief systems about money, give him a call. 913-317-5384. It has been such a pleasure and honor talking to all of you today. And as always, you know where to find us. Deep Talk on KCMO Talk Radio 710. I'm your host, Vasavi. Please be kind.